Alrighty, I just got in this today. Blue Eddy portable PV 200 watt solar panel. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a little review on it. Uh, first things first, if you've watched any other my few videos that I have, I'm a big stickler on packaging. Uh, so with that being said, it seems like a pretty big thick box. I'm gonna get into it and see what's inside. Like there is bubble wrap and styrofoam padding. Opens up. And the styrofoam is taped, if you can see here, so it won't move. Pretty thick padding. I think it's pretty sufficient for the shipping process and it protects it pretty well. All right, first impressions. I haven't even taken it out yet, but this is like a real nice, Almost like soft, almost padded material. Feels really good. It looks like there's a user manual down here. Typical info on it. And on the back side, separate, is the warranty card. First impressions once I actually take it out of the packaging. The handle feels really good. I love the logo, the color. And you can see a little better here. The pattern almost like that's in it. Um, and it measures folded up uh, 24 inches by just about 25 inches to the top of the handle. And it's a solid handle. That's a difference between this and the SP series. Um, the SP series had that almost uh, lanyard sort of with the rubber on it. All right, on the back side. We have this pouch that is waterproof, your MC4 cables, and the specifications on there. And underneath of it, and I believe on each panel, there is the stands or the feet. And I'm excited to see how these work. Supposedly, you can set to adjust them for whatever angle you need, uh, which will help get, get it more in direct sunlight. So I'm gonna experiment with that here in just a second. One thing I did not realize is here was the outside, that is the back of the panel. There is one, two, three feet on it. The SP120s um, have one on each, which I don't think will make a huge difference, but may lack a little bit of stability, but with it being in the middle instead of one of the end legs, I think it should be fine. All right, here we have it completely unfolded. Aesthetically, it is very pleasing. Um, even along the back side, it's pretty nice how they label these for you. Each one of these stands have a few different snaps, which gives you plus or minus five degrees from the middle one that's marked 45. So if you just go along each three and put them at the same one, you have this angled more or less, uh, depending on what, what you need it for, for the sun. My impressions on the build, everything seems high quality. Like I said, good, sturdy, solid handle here. It makes it easy to carry. The clips to keep it folded snap in perfectly fine. Um, like I had mentioned, the, the weatherproof pouch keeps your MC4 cables and the straps uh, when it's folded, they stay back here with Velcro so they don't go flopping everywhere for you. So I'm gonna go plug it in and see what we can get out of it. Um, here in Northeast Ohio, it's, oh, I'd say mostly sun. I'm gonna go out in the front to where there's mostly no no trees or any any shadows or anything like All that right so i have one pv200 blue eddy foldable solar panel wire to my blue eddy eb70 um 127 watts 130 watts is about what i've seen um i was a little concerned with how low that is considering this panel is rated at 200 uh, but then i plugged in an sp120 also one of blue eddy's solar panels and I was getting pretty much exactly half, 60, 66 watts going in. Um, must just be the conditions here in Northeast Ohio, mid-September. Um, assuming that's that's what you that's what you can expect out of any sort of uh, solar panel at this time of year. But I'm about to show you the main difference between the PV series and the SP series. The PV series, if I take and I shield off half of this, 
they're wired differently. The solar panels are wired differently than the SP series. If I shield off half of these, instead of it dropping drastically, I'll show you how they pretty much exactly half the amount of wattage going in. So let me get that set up and I'll show you, just to show you this again. 134, 135 watts. All right, so I put a towel immediately over half of the solar panel. So two out of the four foldable parts are exposed. And if we go back, we're still getting in 73 watts. So it's pretty true to the percentage of panels exposed or covered as to what output you're gonna get. And I'll show you the difference between the PV series and the SP series here in just a second. All right, now I have the SP120, wired it to the EB70. And as I said, it's exactly half. Um, just the weather here. It's not, it's sunny, but there's a cloud haze, a little bit of cloud cover. But now what I'm gonna do is cover half of this. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. Roughly half of this is covered, as you can see. Come back to the EB70, and it's not really registering a whole lot. Uh, there is a little bit of cloud moving in right now, but when that moves, I'll turn it back on to show you the difference in percentages lost between the two series. Move. All right, the sun is back out for the most part and I am with half of the SP120 covered. It's barely registering anything. Um, so now if I go yank this off here, let's see. It should hop up back to, oh, there it goes, see? It's even a little better than it was before at 60. And let's show this one more time with the SP200. It's putting in 107. Come over here. Cover up roughly half of it. And 46, 53. Come back, let's do 75%. If it stays true, it should still be around 75, 80 watts. Seventy-three. So that's what's really nice about the SP series. All right, this has been a first look, first quick test, first impressions on the PV200 solar panels by Blue Eddy. I'm pretty impressed with them. Uh, what I do like is that since they're wired in parallel, that they keep the same percentage loss um, for how much is covered. So if you're camping out in maybe a shaded area or you're not in full sun, um, these are a great panel to use for that reason because if part of it's cut off, you won't lose complete input and complete charging power. So I'll be sure I'll be doing more tests here in the future. Uh, but this is just a quick, quick view of it uh, right when I first got them. Hope you are having a good day, a good night, and stay safe.